and I get to go fishing again and for maybe one last time and we'll see how it goes. towards the fire I step on the crack split the bone knock on wood and look for the black cat open on banners on the 13th floor leave through a different door and here I am alive and well I'm back here up in Inner River around the May long weekend and I think maybe it would be maybe three years ago now I was here and I was just about to start my journey moving on from the swimming pool where I had worked for many years and give commercial fishing a try and I was so scared at the time but it's been incredible Justin and his wife Caroline the the captain that I work for <coughs> They're out right now. From B, no, go, go. And um, oh, and uh, let's see. And it's just been incredible. I've loved fishing, and I've learned so much. And I haven't looked back from this swimming pool. I am becoming more and more comfortable with uncertainty, and and I can't see myself going back to a. A stereotypical stable job anytime soon even though I know there's incredible things to be said for that life but it's not for me just yet and I've been able to travel and and check off so many things from my dream list that I thought were for another lifetime but they've been able to come to fruition I was able to live in Sweden and go travel to South America I was able to go to school with some incredible assistance and get a 150, 150 ton chief mate ticket. And, and I, like tuna fishing led me to French Polynesia. It led me to Tahiti with some incredible people and I was able to travel around there, which is the corner of the world I had wanted to see for a long time. And, and yeah, just about two days ago now, I had been all set to go fishing for one more season with Justin. I, I knew and I know that I have one more season in me before I really wanted to move on and try something else. But then an opportunity to go whale watching with a company in Vancouver came up and it's in, they needed my ticket specifically. It would be about the same wages that I get tuna fishing. It would be incredible sea time and experience because I'd be going in and out of Vancouver and Victoria quite a bit, so it would be a lot of coastal waters and I would be on the water for the, a very similar amount of time, but I would be meeting people as well and so, and yeah, that's sort of a dilemma that has come up all of a sudden and so out of the blue. Again, I thought my life was on the straight and narrow. And then this came up and it's like, oh shoot, should I do this now? But I still have one more fishing season in me. And, and I asked Justin about it yesterday and he was like, Ocean, I can't tell you what to do. I thought he'd be like, no, Ocean, you, you said that you were going to fish with me this year, so I need you. But, 
but he didn't say that. He He's really letting me take the lead on what am I going to do with the rest of my life. And so now, sitting atop the swimming hole hill with Rimby Dog instead of Jasper now, and my sister's here as well, um, all of a sudden life has presented me with a few different paths to choose and, and really like once I walk down this hill, <laughs> once I go back into town um, after this weekend, I, I still don't know what my life will look like at all, but, but I am more confident with my ability to make a life for myself. In the past, I used to think that if I left my position at the swimming pool all of a, and went fishing for one season, all of a sudden there wouldn't be a spot left for me in the world. But I've realized that I can educate myself. I can be of service to people and places. And, and it's, it's actually so important to celebrate your gifts and offer them as well. And so, yeah, I, I'm just confused to figure out where I'm most needed and and where would be the best place to spend the summertime in the mid-Pacific once again or or close to land meeting people and hanging out on boats and oh good lord it terrifies me or it doesn't terrify me but it bewilders me I suppose so I'm super thankful there was a potluck dinner last night and we might have to leave early today because of bad weather coming up but I'm so thankful for this ground zero that I have to just reflect and go on from and, and know that I'm so supported by such an incredible community. Oh yeah, the other day I got to go tugboating as well with Ben Vanderhyde and Danny Christensen and Ben grew up here as well and that was an incredible experience as well. I had never gone tugboating before but they were super encouraging people and it's like every day is a beach day and you get to explore quite a bit and so that was another highlight. I'm actually, I feel, it, life just feels so bittersweet right now. Um, I just got back from a coffee time and I ran into Justin on the road and I actually, it's so bizarre, like to, this all just happened two days ago but I told him that I might not, I, I don't think I'll be going tuna fishing actually this year and and maybe I'll go whale watching instead out of Vancouver and Victoria. Um, the pay looks like it'll be about the same and as well as the sea time and and then and it seems like I'm really needed there and maybe the tuna season is a little bit more up in the air with with different things and and all of a sudden oh it's like oh maybe this is where I'm needed and and where I could go and maybe I I think I'd learn a huge amount of things this summer and and again it's so bittersweet I've loved working for for Justin and I loved tuna fishing on the tequila and and yet like maybe sometimes life pushes us onwards in in different ways that we didn't expect and it's been amazing thinking that I was going tuna fishing and it gave me such peace of mind and it opened up worlds for me. You shut me down, you lack the control. You speak to me like I'm a child Try to hold it down, I know the answer No, I can shake it off and you'll feel threatened by me I try to play it nice but oh, oh, oh. You think you're so important to me, don't you? But I want you to know that I don't belong here. You think you're so important to me, don't you? Don't kill my vibe. You love to tear me down, you pick me apart. Then build me up like I depend on you. No, 
But I throw myself from heights that used to scare me Guess you're surprised I'm the puzzle You can't figure out I try to play it nice but oh reflecting um, just with the incredible fortune I have in my life um, how fortunate and privileged I feel to be here so here we are mm, don't kill my vibe no oh, oh, oh. I try to play in nice, but oh 